Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary. I don't know why I decided to black screen there. Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Bottom Left in Corner. We got Jess again starting as the Red Zerg. Upper left in corner, we got Bugs starting as the Blue Protoss. This is on Retro. And this is BSL 18 Hasu League. Round of 16. Group B. Got the most. I, I do want to commend this entire group for getting me the replays. Got all the replays from this group. Which is, I also want to give a shout out, if anybody comes across the LML, thank LML. LML is the, not kidding, like the engines, the tire, the car frame, the gasoline, and a lot of other metaphorical things that make things go of the entire Brood War community, honestly. He does a lot of tournament organization. Thank him, because he's kind of the guy who makes it run, and it's very thankless. Because you have guys complaining about like, oh, this, that. And then they don't show up and there's withdrawals and things like that and it oftentimes lands on him and he's just the guy who's thanklessly for for free making all this happen so if you see him give him a big pat on the back or meta whatever that looks like so shout out to lml out there i appreciate him quite a bit wouldn't be able to do this without him looks like we are headed towards a, another potential 12 hatch bottom left in the meantime, Bug has yet, to, so it has a pylon, I take that back. It looks like it might be in the forge opener here in top left. So, forge opener, Bug not sending out the two probes to see whether he can get that faster nexus down. Just in the meantime, sending out both the scouting pr worker and that hatchery to drop at the natural expansion. So it has the economy to work with here. And I'll see if Bug goes for the Nexus in the dark. So, top right, finds nothing. Overlord, interesting scouting pattern here from Jess. Checking bottom right and now top, or sorry, bottom right and now top right. And so going to end up scouting in the last position as well. Wonder if that, actually I wonder if this drone's just going to go up there and build a hatchery. You saw the drone make its way out. Defensive cannon out of necessity right there. Bug gonna drop. Usually you want, if you don't know it's an iron pool, sometimes you want to put down two cannons. With the worker pole, sometimes it's defensible. Uh, hatchery a little bit out of position from usual, so it's a little bit of a distance from the gas, it looks like, which might cost a little bit of gas mining time here for Jess, should this be more of a, a gas-heavy build. Drone pulling back, kind of wondering where it's headed. Um, gateway out in the front. Overlord slowly making its way top left. Is it rechecking the bottom right, or is it just wanting to grab the base's bottom right? I think it's just going to grab the base's bottom right. Spawning pool being built. We do have a gas up. I didn't get the timing of that gas overall. I should be, if I was a professional, I'd be able to do it off the how much gas is remaining. Some players are good enough where they can, in fact, do that, which is astounding to me. The skill. Do the math in their head. Nexus building that probe, holding just in case Erglings were making the way, but now... Marching into the base, seeing a lack of Zerglings and that spawning pool, that probe can go ahead and evacuate the forward position. Overward, Overlord very slowly making its way there. Bottom right hand corner, we got a hatchery about halfway done at the natural expansion. And just now going ahead and transferring workers. I'm going to... We do have a tech to layer, so this is looking and we do have an idle drone for Absign there. So it looks like this might be a two hatch mutalisk Kind of a 2.5 hatch Mutalisk build uh, for Jess. We'll see how that plays out. In the meantime, Cybernetic Score is warping in for Bug. That probe did pull off the front. Initial Zealot out, and we got two gas. Second Assimilator getting dropped, either to get the earlier High Templar, or it does, in fact, uh, it does open up the option to maybe go Dark Templar as far as uh, a follow up. Plus one weapons also on the way. Hatchery just finishing bottom right. That worker going to be able to find it. Without too much trouble, it looks like the Zealot going to check that 9 o'clock location just in case in between. We do have two Zerglings currently out in the front and a few additional Zerglings being produced. Should be plenty to go ahead and dissuade that Zealot. And a Hydral Sten getting dropped. So is this going to be, a, this looks like it's going to be early Lurker play from Jess. So no second gas. Usually you'll see a second gas on top of this. So I'm wondering if it's just going to be fast Hydralisks in the forward position and then a quick follow up to... Lurk, or if this is just like a little bit of a mess up of a build order. Uh, 
Zerglin's kind of doing the do si -do around there, which isn't really helping out things. We do have the Spire. Maybe that was... I'm wondering if this was a, a mind game as well from Jess, which... Ass, my computer lagging for some reason right there. Show the lack of a second gas. And then go Mutalisks instead. Catch him off guard. We'll see. Stargate about halfway finished. We already do have a Citadel of a Dune planted. Do we see double star? No, okay, we only got Stargate Gateway. I wouldn't be shocked to see Dark Templar here, but I have a feeling this is still just going to be for Zealot Leg Speed. As far as a follow-up, maybe a 10-minute Zealot Leg Speed. We do have the gateways plopping down behind this. Uh, a few smaller numbers. Some Zerglings surging around, trying to see what they can. It looks like two Zealots have found that bottom right-hand base, so the drone's going to scatter. So third base has been spotted. Spire about... A lot of happening in this game. We got the Spire just about finished, so the drone's going to scatter. The Zergling's waiting. The two Zealots aren't going to be able to kill that hatchery in time, but they are going to be able to get that drone kind of out in position. This is also with all of this traction buying time. It looks like it is a Templar Archives, by the way. And a Photon Cannon in the main, just in case. For Bug. Bug anticipating everything here. Probably wise to do so. The Zergling's now sweeping across. The Zealots, nice little bit of response there from Bug. One of them getting... It looks like between the two of them they're getting a, a decently defensible position. And just again having trouble getting the Zerglings to engage from both directions. A Zealot running around looks like it's going to again be able to check that natural. And first of all, this should be a, somewhat of an alert that there's no Hydralisks. But on top of that, that Zealot with all those Zerglings out of position, going to be able to maybe get some additional drone kills. It's going to be able to march in the main, confirm that Spire at the very least. So this Zealot being left... The Zerglings starting to march the way back. It's a little bit too late. A Scourge out. And we do have two Mutalisks being produced. Jess actually has a massive amount of resources to invest someplace right this second. Nice drill right there to clean that up. The Zealot's still hanging out. Is it just going to be a Mutalisk to clean that up, I wonder? The Scourge hunting around, seeing to if they can find a Corsair. But there's one Corsair sitting in the main right this second. And that is enough forewarning, theoretically. I'm not seeing additional... This, this is odd. Another forge, but not additional cannons as of yet, as one would expect. Six o'clock base getting grabbed from Jess in the meantime. The drones waiting at the bottom right may be concerned about... If I saw a zealot sitting on the other side of a mineral line and I was expected to mine it, I'd do the exact same thing. I do not blame them at all. More mutalisks starting to join the cause, but I don't know that it's going to be sufficient at this stage. Corsair's a little bit delayed in construction. There was an opportunity from Jess, honestly, with the resources at hand, to maybe strike some damage. That Zealot has woken up bottom right and at least gotten a kill. The Mutalisk's going the wrong direction, now trying to engage. So Jess, mostly looking like they want to play it uh, economically defensively again. A Dark Templar streaming to the bottom right-hand corner. Zealot gets cleaned up, but this... So the 6 o'clock completely exposed. No Overlord there. Overlord speed has also not been upgraded critically. The Mutalisks are out of position here, bottom right. And it looks like just not seeing that DT wander in to the bottom right either. So, or nope, saw it, maybe? So scattering a little bit. The Mutalisks sweeping back across. And we also have a Zealot, that plus one Zealot leg speed attack. Coming out a little bit later, about a minute later than you'd usually expect. Wandering out to the natural. So a lot of chaos for Jess. Hydralisten getting pushed down. The drone's pulling off the line for a bit of a drill. The Dark Templar has managed to escape top right, and there's just not a lot of attack force out here from Jess to defend it. So loses the Hydralisten, and critically, I don't think the Lurker tech got uh, canceled. So there is additional lost resources there. And as there, that Dark Templar recognizing the opportunity, never mind, Hydralis spawning just in the nick of time here bottom right. So Zealot's going to get cleaned up. There, it looks like that, that hatchery, the natural, being assailed as well. The Dark Templar was cleaned up bottom right, but Jesse kind of scattered, has just absorbed a lot of attacks. Has managed to keep a healthy drone count regardless, though. Looks like the drones instead have oversaturated. They need to resaturate, though. Have oversaturated here at the six. So four bases up after all this is cleaned up, but only two of them, well, one, two... And a half? Two and a half for saturated. Natural expansion needs to be rebalanced with the worker count. So just at the end of this, honestly, massive worker count, but bug in a good position where a bunch of size storm, 20 supply up. It looks like 
They're going to be able to cap that 12 o'clock location, no problem. Six gateways that can now surge to additional gateways. And uh, a healthy Corsair count to deal with the number of Mutalisk and Scourge that are out there. It looks like there was concern about potential shuttle drops along that corner. Hydra will stand back down. Lurker Tech rebuilding. Creep Colony is getting dropped here, bottom left. This is still a huge swath of land for Jess to try to defend. And it also gives an uh, open opportunity for Bug to just go ahead and macro up as well. If I were Bug and I, I saw this kind of scenario, yeah, just go ahead and grab a fourth. Especially after all that harassment, a bunch of gateways being plopped down. You do have double forge. Corsairs mixing up with a little bit of Dragoon support underneath. Plus two weapons already, by the way, from Bug. Uh, the Mutalisks diving top right discover that 12 o'clock location. They pay for that in for intel with their lives. If I was the commander of those Mutalisks, I would have argued with that order. I would have been like, no, we're not going to go over there just for the intel. I would say, like, wander outside the base. Pretend you said there was a, nex uh, a nexus there. Tell them what they want to hear and walk right back out. Forge about to finish with that plus one armor. Robotics facility just about complete as well. I think Bug holding back a little bit because of the lack of observers. Same problem with the previous match. We do have a couple lurkers just being morphed here at the natural expansion. A bunch of sunken colonies, so just shelling up across the board. And are we going to see Greater Spire again? Maybe some sort of Greater Spire? Unfortunately, the same defensive uh, fortifications not being planted in the bottom right or the six o'clock location. And this is a sufficient enough army for Bug to crash and at least take a base out, maybe more. And there's enough cannons to hold that 12 o'clock base. There, it looks like there was an attempt to grab a fourth, but some Zerglings discovered it in between. Corsair's working on overlords here, bottom right. And actually, once those overlords are wiped out, the Dark Templar can be sent in. And that's just a dead base for free. Just also in the red in the midst of all this. And the army, unfortunately, top right, so not in a position to do anything. The drone's getting size stormed. Supply opening up just because everything's dying. Lurker is able to burrow, but enough size storm and hits before they're able to land, making up for the lack of an observer. Bit of a misfire there from Bug, and just kind of GG right there. 2-0 win for Bug to advance into the winner's match. Jess will go on to the loser's match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.